a few months ago, we embarked on this journey to develop 3D printed food for elderly with chewing difficulties. This is why we use the 3D food printer to actually try to um, engage this kind of technology in helping us to create food which is edible and nutritional to the elderly. Because for seniors with um, uh, chewing issue, swallowing issue and people with dysphagia, I think this 3D can actually um, spike up their interest to take food because in hospitals we usually prepare things like pureed food. It's all lumped together. We couldn't see broccoli, you know, in its shape. So it's very uh, difficult for the seniors to consume all this food. We started off by brainstorming product concept, generating designs to be printed, formulating our products, and conducting sensory testing with the elderly in failure to understand their acceptability towards this new idea. Because this project is an entirely new thing for us, so we actually learn and pick up new skills along the way. Something like designing software to make it more of an interesting design that appeals to the elderly. So in SIT Messi program, they developed the curriculum to make it applied learning. So we have laboratory sessions and problem-based learning that prepare us in our career in the food industry. As our population in Singapore is aging, so it is important to look at the food that is suitable for our senior citizens. So that's why we thought that uh, 3D printer is an, an emerging technology and eventually we see the potential of this technology to be used to produce the food that are suitable for elderly citizens. Even though it may still be at the infant stage, there's a potential in it and we want to tap on the current status by getting the students to work on the projects and to see the relevance and how it can be applied eventually. With uh, this product, is going to meet the demands in future because uh, the elderly population is going to double in maybe 20 years time. So this is like a future food for the future generation.